Hey guys, it's Ray with Spray Wash Pro. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, gonna do a short instructional video on uh, how to uh, create collage photos and how to also uh, watermark your photos. And you can really do this, typically speaking, from the same program uh, and at the same time. And really, really simple thing to do. I think this is a quick marketing tool that most people don't take advantage of enough. Now, today I'm doing this on my iPad here. Um, so, uh, recording it on my iPhone, doing it on my iPad, you know, this is one of these things that, that everybody could, could have at their disposal, what were like eight, nine hundred dollars um, or so. Uh, run down to Best Buy, buy you one, uh, really, really in it, uh, a great tool to have in your business. Uh, the camera in the iPads are also fantastic to have. If you've got one of the Android Samsung tablets, it'll work very, very similar. File structure might be a little bit different. Your app store might be a little bit different, but still really going to run, uh, operate very similarly. Um, these are touch screen um, because I have a busted wing. Um, I'm gonna actually be using my Apple Pencil on here, but it'll work the same as your touch screen. Um, I buy a lot of different uh, programs just to try them out. Uh, there's some that I really, really like. There's some uh, that I don't. So everything that you see on the screen, don't assume that it's something that I use and I, and I like. Um, my favorite ones for doing collages have been uh, Live Collage, uh, Photo Collage, and then the first one that I ever started was this one called Moldive, M-O-L-D-I-V. Uh, my Moldive has stopped working on my computer or on my iPad and on my iPhone. Um, cannot get it to recognize um, my different file structures or, or any pictures that are in the file. So I've had to, um, I've had to, um, stop using that one, but I really, really enjoyed that Maldive. Uh, but they all work relatively similar fashion. Keep in mind as well that if you're set up on an iCloud account, uh, which is something your, your uh, Apples or Macs will come with, if you're using an iPhone uh, and an iPad and even a Macintosh computer, your uh, photo directory will wind up talking to each other and you'll have access to these apps on both your tablet, on both your phone, on your computer. So one-time purchase and you really get to use them in three different areas, which is, is real handy to have that I've found. All right, so starting out here, um, live collage. Let's do live collage. We're just going to click on it. Uh, a few different things that we could do here on Live Collage. Uh, we can filter photos, erase backgrounds. We can even use the camera through there, make a poster, uh, edit our photos, put beauty filters on there. I know a lot of you guys really need some help with the beauty filters, uh, but we're going to the, we're going to worry about the collage on here. Uh, that's the one area of this program that I find myself consistently using. Now. Additionally, you will get these programs at the App Store. You'll need to sign in. Um, usually, the, the programs cost maybe $15, $19. Uh, I've gotten them as low as, as $3 and $4 for usable photographs. Um, sometimes there's a monthly subscription fee. Sometimes there's not. I don't think any of these have monthly subscription fees on there. Um, so these are the types of layouts that we can that we can get that come stock and standard with this. A square, that's where we can just kind of hodgepodge things together. Here is a, um, a vertical up and down. This would be three photographs, uh, four photographs, six photographs. You get the idea on there. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down and do this wide format horizontal. So scroll down to there, click that, and this is what pops up now. 
And I know for old time computer com users, a lot of this will get kind of confusing because we're expecting, gosh, where are the instructions at? Well, truth is apps don't come with a lot of instructions. Um, it, it's really kind of a point and click. It, it's what they call treeware, the old instruction book where guys, we wouldn't have read them anyway, but they've made these things so easy to use, you almost don't need them. You've got two pluses here. So this is a two photograph horizontal. So I know I need to pick out two photos. I'm gonna go to the upper one, click my plus. It's now going in to my photographs on here. It might take it just a, a minute to load um, on here. And so sometimes it'll take it just a minute or two to load. It's not loading. Give it a minute. So now more of them have loaded up in here. Um, I'm just looking for something real simple and easy that I haven't done before. Uh, here we go. Here's dirty driveway. Boom. Click one. And it says a one right there. Click right there. It says a one right there. Go right up here to the top right hand corner, hit done. And my photos have been transferred in a before and after to this horizontal. Now, if I click, I can actually move these photographs around in their respective frames. Notice this, how the photo, I can independently move these photographs if I wanted to. Now that's the edge of the photograph, so I don't wanna get there. Something else I can do, I could even zoom in on that photograph if I wanted to. See, watch. If there was an area that I that didn't clean up as well, I didn't want that in there, I can zoom, pinch and zoom. That's all I'm doing right here is just pinching and zooming. Let's say that I wanted this angle to meet better on there. I can rotate this photograph just a little bit too, which I, I've actually rotated a lot to make those angles meet. Watch whenever I pull this up. See how much that photograph is rotated now? But the app itself doesn't care. It's going to let you mo move these around as much as you want to. Now, as far as a before and after photo collage, we are done right here. All I have to do is hit this button right here, which is the save button. Save to my photos, and it's now saved. It's asking for a rating. Do I want to? Eh, ask me later. So this photograph, we have now created a photo collage right here. Now, something else I can do, I think it's a real good habit to get into while you're doing this, is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button. And I'm going to hit add down there on the bottom. I don't know if you saw that, but I hit add. Now I'm going to come in here and go ahead and put my, fa my, my logo on here because I think it's just real important to, to watermark our photographs. I've got a logo saved and by adding, I'm actually adding a different layer to this photograph. Okay. So it's no longer just two photographs, it's three photographs. And I can put my spray wash logo right there in the middle of it. Now, I've got an X, I've got an undo, I've got this, and then I've got a bigger, smaller stretch out. So I can make this larger. You know, a lot of times I kind of kick my logo at an angle just for the fun of it, so I could put it like that. So now all I have to do, click over here on the side, right there, I've got a watermarked collage photograph on here. I can hit 
save, save to photos. This is now done. One more thing though, you can start playing around with. Uh, these, photo, these programs go so deep. It's such a great value for these photographs, uh, for these photo collage applications. Watch this. Let's say that I want, um, I don't like that. It's just too bright. I don't want my logo sticking out that much. I could come over here, look at the sidebar and say opacity, which means, you know, the op opaqueness of this photograph. I can change the slider on that. And do you see what's happening? See what's happening to my logo? I've got 0% opacity. Here's at about 27% opacity. So if I didn't want this to be standing out quite as much, glaring more of a very subtle watermark, I can change the opacity on there. And what, so I can just leave that in there. You can still see the background behind it. Uh, and that's just another way to deal with your watermark on your photographs. I can hit save on that. Save to photos. That's now saved in my camera roll as well. So here just in a couple of minutes times, we've saved three different versions of that collaged photo. Let's and let me show up to my camera roll. Uh, that's going to be photos. And so on the things that I just created, I said we saved three different versions of that in just a matter of, of minutes. Here's the first one that we did with no watermark, that's just a collage. Here's the second that we did with a full 100% opaque watermark on there. And then there's a third one that we did with the 30% opaque watermark on here. And you know, it's sad, but it really is important to, to watermark our photographs because literally just this morning, I was sitting there watching a video that someone had done and I was like, wow, that's one of my photographs that's in there. It was a roof picture that somebody had done a, a Halloween video for and my roof picture was in there. Now, I don't know if this is a situation to where I said, sure, use it because I have allowed some people to use photographs of if they've been students or if it was something he pulled offline. But it's very, very important to watermark your photographs, especially if you get that million dollar shot out here. Um, to show you how much I use this tool, um, you know, this is just going in the last few photographs in my photo roll. Um, here's one that I made. Here's one where I watermarked that one. Um, and that was just a fun one that I did for somebody showing some sidewalks. Here's a roof. Uh, there's, you know, the watermarked roof photograph. So again, these, these photographs, uh, these photograph tools are so important uh, to use. I think it's probably one of the um, most important pieces of software you can get from your business. And again, you can create these collages from both the tablet or your phone itself. Uh, we do these on the go all the time. I'll literally be at the job site, the crews are washing before the job's even done. I've got my before and after photographs uh, completed uh, there. I keep them all in a file here called photos. Let's go one more time and look at the names of these things. So again, Live Collage and Photo Collage are the two that I use the most often. I really like Moldive. Um, it stopped working for whatever reason. I've got some various photographs here. Watermark, watermark, watermark. Um, I haven't felt that I've really needed uh, to watermark my photo photographs because of these photo collage uh, programs that I have. It really is just that easy, what we just showed. We're gonna do another one here just to make sure uh, you get this. I'm gonna click on the live collage right here. Okay, collage. Let's do something a little crazier this time. Um, let's do something with multiple photos kind of like this one right here. 
Okay, so I've got four photographs and they're gonna be a strange size, so it's gonna crop them off a little bit weird. Um, let's find a file where uh, I know I've got some photographs that, that are gonna work in here. Uh, here's something called Roof. Um, it's showing the roof process. This is kind of cool too, if what happens I think is gonna happen. One, two, two, three, four. And keep in mind, I'm doing this off the fly right here. Oh, I didn't click one there. So there. Now, do you see that that actually included a video in that top file for me? So I can save this. It won't just save it as a photograph file, but it'll save this as a picture file. So that top file right there is a video file. Um, if I wanted to mess around, and which is really kind of cool if you want to put that on your Facebook page and, and, and show customers, you know, movement and action on there. And you know what? That's not working for me, so I'm just going to replace it. I go right here to where it says replace. And you know what? None of those photos really work for me. Um, I want I want something showing how pretty I am on there. So let's do something like that right there instead of that video file. Hit the check mark. Boom! It's just that easy, guys. It's just that easy. Let's say I wanted to uh, do some Andy Warhol kind of artistic things. I'm gonna take this photograph right here. I'm gonna make it look like it was drawn. I'm going to take this photograph right here and I'm gonna make it look like it was, I don't know, whatever this filter is on there. Lots of different things that you can play on there. How am I gonna look if I did something like this? Is this gonna be a good look for me? Ooh, look at that. So again, all kind of just fun things that we can do uh, on these photographs. I didn't save any of those changes. I download it, I save it, save to photos. I'm literally in the middle of something. I wanna change the layout. I don't like that layout. I wanna to go to this layout instead. You see, now it's changed that. I didn't like that layout. I wanna to go to this layout instead. I changed it that way. It's really a simple program to use. Um, I can push that over the side. I Still want to watermark this photograph. I'll come down here to my favorites. I also highly recommend that you, you keep a logo of yours in your favorites file. Um, it just makes it really simple, easy access to have your logo. You can always go to your favorites and it's right there. You're not having to go through. Um, I've actually got my logo saved several different places in my camera roll, but by having it in your favorites, boom, it's right there. You always know where to look to get it. Uh, it won't be back several thousand pictures on your roll.